Manchester United finally get the three points. The curse is broken. Breaking news. Manchester United win a 2-0 win over Brighton. And yes, yes, yes. I mean, that three points just gives you that hope that top four is still on. Because if we didn't get those three points, we'd given Arsenal top four. Now, to be fair, it wasn't the best performance in the world. It was a crap, it was Ole Gunnar Solskjaer performance, awful for 45 minutes, Mook Fred subdued, boring, couldn't string passes, second half FC, good for 45 minutes, individual brilliance of Ronaldo saved today, very Ole yes, wasn't the best performance, I think it's ironic that actually, you know, our last three, four games, we played a lot better than this and didn't win, and today, our worst performance, and we've won! Moments FC we are, and that's what happens when you have individual brilliant players like Ronaldo. You know, a lot of people in doubt with Ronaldo, but he just goes and scores a banger like that. And even if you take away Ronaldo's goal, he had a very, very good game. He should have got two assists. I mean, Bruno missed an absolute stinker. He did. It, it's funny, um, Messi misses a penalty two minutes later, Ronaldo scores, and you just know the tables are going to turn. Last week, all the Messi fanboys came out saying that Ronaldo's finished, and this week, the Messi fanboys have gone back in hiding. It's, a, it's an interesting week, but let me get into the game. Let me dissect the game and all of that. A lot of positives, negatives as well, but at the end of the day, we, we ended the game on a good note, good 45 minutes in the second half. It was moments FC, it was first half FC, it was United only playing for 45 minutes. I think we should be called 45 minute FC. But the most important thing is the three points today. I think today if someone has said good performance and drop points or bad performance and win, I'd say bad performance and win. And I think I think most of you guys would as well. Um, so yeah, I want to firstly say Bruno Fernandes is my man of the match. I was impressed with all three Portuguese players playing today, but Bruno Fernandes is my man of the match. And I'm going to read out his game statistics here via Statman Dave. Bruno completed all of his dribbles. Bruno had 78 touches. He created five chances. Five chances. He was brilliant. I think, and two of those chances were brilliant headers to Ronaldo. That, you know, Ronaldo could have had a hat-trick and Bruno could have had two assists. Bruno won four of his ground jewels. He put in a great defensive shift. Uh, he created two big chances, so two assist-worthy chances. So he should have got two assists. Uh, he had three shots on target and the one goal. He's created over 70 chances in the Premier League this season. He is always making things happen. I thought Bruno was absolutely fantastic today for Manchester United. Uh, I just think the goal was unreal as well. The fake shot pass, it just a bit of class. You know, he misses that tapping and he, he scores that classy goal where he's got a lot of time to th a lot of time to think as well. And I think it's 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 a hard, you know, it's a hard goal to score and. and Going into the game and all of that, it was a bit of a, an interesting game because what we'd almost done is, is reverse the game. So our last few games, we'd been brilliant for 45 minutes playing this 4-3-3 expansive, fast-paced, high-tempo football and pressing. And in the second half, it was very subdued. Now, in this game, the first half, was it was Ollie Ball. 4-2-3-1, Mook Fred, let's protect Lindelof for Maguire. Maybe it was because we played Lindelof Maguire, not Varane, so we couldn't play a high line. There was that less pace. And it was Mook Fred and not Pogba and Mook Tom and I. So it's it, it in a 4 2 3 1, and there was no pressing. The passing was awful. We couldn't string some passes together. They got booed off at half time because it, it was a performance worth booing. It was well, That was one of the worst 45 minutes all season. Outplayed by Brighton at home, one shot. It was it was a repeat of Ollie. And I'm thinking, oh my God, Ralph Rennick, you've been doing this 4 3 3. I know you've been dropping points, but the 4 3 3 was clearly working. It's not your fault that from unexpected goals of 11, we'd scored three. You know, what you were doing working. I was like, no, he's not gone back to what Ollie did and not gone back to the system that suits the players. Surely not. And then we come out in the second half and, and we did this pressing in the second half. And you could see that we sort of switched more attack in the second half. And maybe that booing just brought something in the player's head. The tempo came out in the second half. We could actually progress the ball. And there was a four minute spell in the second half where we just intensely pressed. And as soon as we press, what happens? We score that goal via Ronaldo from pressing. That red card through Elanga from pressing. Red card and goal in the space of four minutes. And as soon as we score that goal, we're 1-0 up. But Man United being 1-0 up in recent times, you're thinking, oh no, danger, we're going to drop points. But no. Then Alanga goes and gets dunk sent off. We are, oh, that's that one. And that's the game won for four minutes of pressing. So crap for 45 minutes. We switch up for four minutes and press and we've won the game. The game is in our hands, 10 men. You think United, you're not going to bowl this. But we always have this feeling of Danny Welbeck equalisers coming. It's, it's Man United, but... It wasn't. And I was like, brilliant. And you know what? In that second half, we could have won at 4-5-0. I mean, Bruno missed an absolute sitter. Ronaldo could have had a couple of opportunities. Well, I think Maguire had an opportunity. Pop had a shot blocked. We created a lot of chances in that second half. You know, we only had, I think, 
one shot in that first half and then in that second half we you know we were creating chances and all that it was a lot better and obviously they were down to 10 men uh you know you know it is a bit of an anomaly and i will say in the first half milk fred got absolutely dominated it was look i think i'm going to say this now i like milk tom and i and I like Fred, but I don't like them playing together. I like Pogba, Bruno, Fred. I like Pogba, Bruno, Tom and I. Even though none of them are CDMs, it, you know, it, I just think Milk Fred together doesn't work. I like them as individuals, but never together. They just, Basuma absolutely ran the shit out of them. You know, Milk Fred did not make a single tackle in the first half of their CDMs. They didn't win the ball back at all. Okay? In the second half, when they were allowed to be a bit more expensive, they were better. They were, Milk Tom and I Fred were a lot better in the second half. But that first half performance of McFred was it was just Ollie esque. And I think we need to come to the conclusion that if we sit back with McFred, it's not gonna work. It might help Maguire, it might might help us get clean sheets. And you know, and it helps someone like Maguire, makes Maguire look better. But I don't think it helps us as a system. And I wanna go over the match stats, guys. You know, we had 19 shots to their 10 in the end, and I went over the half time match stats and we'd had one shot. We'd had seven shots on target, but most importantly, in the first half, we'd only had one big chance and Brighton had three. In the second half, we have five big chances, okay? You know, we, and we miss four of them because, you know, United is so unclinical. And, you know, Manchester United centre forwards in 2022 have played nine games for 34 shots, but only scored one goal. We're finally off the mark, though. The curse is broken. And also, another thing, De Gea, brilliant, some brilliant saves today. I mean, who do you get mad at the match to? I thought De Gea was absolutely fantastic. I thought Delo was brilliant again. Bruno was brilliant, Ronaldo was brilliant. For me, my man of the match is Bruno, but who is yours? I mean, when Paul Pogba came on, he was fantastic. Paul Pogba has eight league assists in just 828 minutes. Paul Pogba averages assists every 100 minutes in the Premier League, which is absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. And do you know what? Paul Pogba assists Bruno Fernandes goal. That is the combo we love to see. They're actually... Uh, assist, Pogba's assisted Bruno four times which is more than any other combo in the Premier League and for people that say Pogba and Bruno don't work they do work Pogba and Bruno need to play in the midfield with either Mook, Tom and I or Fred behind them that is our midfield three let's not go to Mook, Fred and bench Pogba it is Pogba, Bruno and one other that is what we're staying with I think he benched Pogba for sub for just rest because Pogba's come back from injury but we do not sub Pogba and at the end of the day what what, what can I say 10 to 15 minutes, we were brilliant. We won the three points in that four minutes pre pressing spell, but we did switch off for today's game. And I hope that we don't go and repeat this versus Leeds. I, I know this system works versus Leeds, but it's not sustainable football. I think we, I want to see versus Leeds what we've been doing versus Middlesbrough and Burnley. And I know we dropped points, but it was, it was much better football versus Middlesbrough and Burnley, if you want my honest opinion. I, I just, I, I wasn't actually overly impressed today. But we've got the three points and Ronaldo shutting his haters down. Smash a like, smash a subscribe. See you next time. Bye, Z.